welcome to Story Chief Academy. In this episode, we'll be creating our first content campaign. But first, what is a campaign? A campaign is a combination of articles, social posts, or events all around the same topic. A campaign can be used as a one-time series of efforts and actions that align around one single goal or objective. You can also give your campaign a running time to help keep your team focused and on track. These campaigns can also be used to track the overall progress and publishing stats. So let's go ahead and create our first campaign. So to start creating your first campaign, go to your dashboard here. There are two ways you can create a campaign in your dashboard. The first way is in the quick links. You can go down and then click on create a campaign. The second way of creating a campaign is if you navigate to the top tab and then select campaigns here. So let's go ahead and do that. In here, just click on one of the two buttons uh, on new campaign. And once you click on that, you will see this pop up. And in the pop-up, you can fill in the details of your campaign. So for example, you can give it a name, uh, a running time, or if it's an ongoing campaign, you can fill in the description of your campaign. You can add collaborators and even start adding custom fields. So I've already started to fill out the information of my campaign. So as you can see, I've given my uh, campaign a title, so HR recruitment. Um, I've selected a running time, so I've wanted it to start on January the 3rd until February the 7th, um, but you can still change that if you want to. You can also make it ongoing and I've given it a description. So in this campaign, we'll gather content around our company culture to attract more applicants. And let's put this in bold. Um, next, we can also select collaborators. So I'm going to select myself and um, one of my colleagues. Um, and then I'm going to start adding custom fields. So you can use custom fields to add goals, objectives, targets, or even a file, a URL, another date, or to give your team updates on how your campaign is doing. So I'm gonna go and click on manage custom fields here. And then I'm going to start adding custom fields. So I can select if I just want it to be text, if I want it to be a single option, if I want just to put in a date, um, large text, if I wanna add a file, an image, and so on. So here you can see I've added um, a few custom fields. So for example, for our company, it's important to know how many CVs we've received, how many interviews we've conducted, um, how, what is the ICP, the budget, the KPI, and results. Also, you can easily change the order of the custom fields just by going here, for example, and dragging it up or then dragging it back down. So you, it's really easy to um, change the order in that way. So once you start adding your custom fields, it will be displayed underneath here. So you can easily fill that in. So now you can see that I filled in my custom fields. I filled in the information. So we've got a total amount of 30 CVs. We've conducted six interviews. Our ICP is our a social media manager. Um, our budget is 4,000. Um, our KPI is hire two people and we've already hired one person. So now let's go ahead and um, click on save. And then you can see that this is our first campaign. So now let's go into our campaign by clicking on content here. And then you'll get to see um, all the information um, of your campaign. So you can see here that I have a running time, the total amount of CVs, the budget, um, and so on. So it really gives you a summary of how your campaign is doing. If you want to add more information or update, for example, your KPI, you can go to the top right corner here and then click on edit and then you'll see the pop-up here. And then you can add extra information, maybe add another collaborator, um, maybe extend the time, put more information in the description and so on. So let's get rid of that here. So it's really nice to have an overview of your objectives and goals of your campaign. The next thing you have is events. 
So you can add events to your campaign. You can also use events as reminders. So for example, let's say you have an open day at your company and you want to create content for that day to promote that. So to add an event, go to the right corner here and then select add. You can either create a new event or from existing. So that means an event that you've already added in your Story Chief account. So let's go ahead and add a new event here. Um, and then we can start filling out the information of that event. So we can um, give it a title, a start date, um, is it all day long? Um, and we can put in a description here. So I've filled in the information of my event. So for example, um, the title is video launch to promote our company. Um, I'm going to select um, that that is going to be in February uh, or January the 13th. Let's click on apply. Let's say it's for the whole day. Um, and then let's go ahead and save. And then you can see it's already planned in your campaign. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more events to this campaign. So now I've added a couple of more events to our campaign. Um, but also, I just want to make it clear that you can also use events as reminders. So for example, on our open day, we want to create content before that date to promote potential candidates to visit our company. So it's more of a reminder, this event, um, to remind ourselves, okay, we want to really promote um, and get as much content out there. Next, you have stories. So here you can start um, adding stories immediately to your campaign or you can add existing um, stories to your campaign. To do so, click on add here, and then you can either select from existing articles that you've already written, um, or you can create a new story immediately in your campaign. So let's click on new. Um, and then we'll have this pop-up that shows up where we can start filling in the information of our story that we want to write. Um, and then you can immediately add an editorial brief to give clear instructions to your writer about what you want the article to be about. So you can fill in what is the message, who is the audience, why the story, how to convey the message. You can put in a word count, you can already add files and so on. So once you've created your first story, just go ahead and click on save. And then you can see um, I've already added some stories to um, our campaigns. So all these stories are linked to this campaign. Now, if I scroll all the way down, I can start adding social posts. I've already added one social post here. I can go ahead and either create a new social post that is linked to my campaign or from existing. So let's go ahead and select this one, add. And then you can see I already have two social posts that is linked to my campaign HR recruitment. So that's how you can easily start planning and creating and scheduling stories and social posts that are linked to your campaign and that all share a common goal. Next, get insights into how your campaign is doing by taking a look at the performance of your story and associated social media posts. So let's go ahead and go into insights. As you can see, it looks pretty empty here. That's because I've only planned stories and social media posts, but I haven't actually published any content yet. I'm now going to show you what this will look like once you've actually published content. This is already a campaign that has already published content. You can see the total story performance, the social media performance, and you can see a channel breakdown. So you can have a deeper dive to see which social media platform is performing best. And you can go ahead and, for example, click on impressions if you want to see the number of times people saw your posts. So it's a nice overview to see which is your top stories, which um, stories got the most engagements, which stories got the top impression posts and so on. You can also get insights into specific dates. So, for example, maybe you wanted to see insights into the whole month of November. So let's go ahead and select the whole month of November and then click on apply. So now you can see how your story did in November and also your social media performance in November. You can also print this or save this as a PDF and share it then with externals. Next, each campaign has its own calendars. 
As such, you can easily directly plan in content in that calendar. So let's go ahead and go to the calendar. Here you can see it's HR recruitment, which is the campaign we've just created. And you can see my content is already planned in here. So you can see I have the event planned in here already um, and so on. So if you want to immediately start planning in content, you can go ahead and for example, select here, click on the plus and add, for example, an event, a social post, plan a story, or even add a campaign. So that's how you can easily plan in content directly through the calendar. And it's really nice to have an overview of what is happening in your campaign so you can easily plan the content and manage deadlines. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.